Good evening, everyone. Welcome back in to Fairbanks Heating News for a Thursday night. Mike Schultz with you once again talking about the weather. Not a bad day today. Had a few isolated showers and then the skies start clearing out. And right now we're looking at some really nice weather. And it looks like uh, that will continue at least for tomorrow into most of Saturday. And then we get some showers in the afternoon, but nothing really heavy expected. More about that later. Uh, nice uh, photograph sent in by I don't know who. It was anonymous. It was sitting on my email, and there it was, a double rainbow. I wanted to share it with you, but it's a beautiful shot. And whoever sent that in, thanks a lot. And if you have a photograph to share, send it to photos at ktbf11.com. Here's your numbers. Today's high, not quite 60 degrees. The low last night, 47. The record high, 90, 90 degrees in 1923. The record low, 28 in 1931. And your sunrise and sunset, exactly 16 hours of daylight, a loss of seven minutes from yesterday. On the satellite radar, a little more moisture coming in from the southwest. Got to keep an eye on that. Looks like most of it's going to go south of the Alaska Range for the most part. And then a little bit of a trailing moisture here might make it in here by this weekend. And as far as what's going on across the, uh, the interior right now with radar, well, the showers are moving out of the picture rapidly. You can see them just exiting the area and nothing out to the west, so that's good news. The state map looks like this, and again, rain has uh, departed the uh, southeastern sections, not too bad, right around the low to mid-60s there. Over south-central sections, not too bad in Anchorage, 68 degrees, some showers around Kodiak, 60, 57, cloudy skies at Cold Bay, Bethel and uh, uh, Nome looking at lots of sunshine, 50 degrees at Nome. Chilly, 38 degrees at Barrow. They had rain and snow showers earlier today. And Fort Yukon, 57 and lots of sunshine. Lower 48 weather. The hot temperatures have uh, cooled off a little bit over the Pacific Northwest. Seattle, only 73 degrees. But they're warming back up again over the Rocky Mountain region. 90 degrees in Salt Lake City, 86 in Denver. Not too bad in Dallas, though, 75 degrees. Again, another hot day for Las Vegas and Phoenix. All the showers and thunderstorms are mainly focused over the eastern half of the country. You can see the lightning there around New York and Washington, D.C., 86 degrees. Otherwise, the rest of the country looking pretty good. Why? Well, because this storm system we were watching a couple days ago is moving rapidly into Canada now. The frontal boundary associated with it is also moving rapidly to the east, while out to the west, high pressure taking over. And the overall outlook is, once again, high fire danger over the much of the northwest, Idaho, Montana, into uh, Wyoming, and even Utah. Relative humidity is only 10 to 15 percent. Dry fuel and winds gusting to 20, 35 miles per hour. That does not look good for the folks there. And the jet stream will be helping that situation, unfortunately, as it way, moves way to the north, allowing all the warm air to come in from the south. Thunderstorms will be developing, once again, across the northern uh, tier states into the Great Lakes and uh, over the deep south. Well, back to Alaska for tomorrow. Snow showers, how about that? Changing to rain in uh, the Barrow area, as you say. Rain changes to showers in Nome and partly cloudy skies before Yukon. Here in the interior, looking pretty good. Isolated showers for Fairbanks and Delta, but partly cloudy skies for Healy. Over southeast Alaska, it looks like uh, mainly cloudy skies at Juneau. Scattered clouds for Ketchikan, while over the uh, southwest part of the state, scattered rain showers across the entire region. And temperatures in the low 60s around Kodiak. And over south central regions, mostly sunny skies in Anchorage, scattered clouds in Homer and Valdez. It's a Thursday night, which means it's time for our fishing report. Brought to you by the good folks at Life Med Alaska. As you can see here in the Valdez area, silvers are thick, but halibut are getting even stronger every day. On the Kenai River, the silver salmon are definitely improving daily, and the red salmon are still pretty hot. And the Madiska Valley chum and silver fishing is very good on the park stream, so head on down there, get your fishing poles out, and maybe you'll get some good fish. Our forecast for tonight, 45, the overnight low, scattered clouds, a little cooler than last night. Tomorrow's forecast, uh, a lot better than today, a little warmer, isolated showers once again, 65. And the extended forecast, as you can see here, looking at uh, off and on showers right down through the five-day period. Temperatures, again, very cool, 55 degrees, pretty much the average. And overnight lows will also, once again, be fairly cool too. Overnight lows at 45 degrees.